What's up you guys, welcome back to Mindset. Cal with me, he ended season one with me, so he's going to start season two. Today we're gonna talk about the pursuit of happiness because that is something me and him have talked about for over the last years, chasing your dreams and following your passions and doing what makes you happy. So I'm gonna let Cal kick it off. Cal, what does the pursuit of happiness mean to you? Well, for me, the things that I find joy or bring me happiness in life, I realize come with a struggle. So I don't really consider it just the pursuit of happiness as much as it is actually the pursuit of everything that I'm passionate about. Just like how we play video games and we enjoy that, there's a struggle that has to happen. There's a process of learning that has to happen. And for me, as long as I'm enjoying the process, that's something that I find passion in and therefore I will pursue it more. If I don't enjoy playing basketball, I'm not going to play basketball. So for me, like video work, doing photography or anything in that nature, I realize that I need to put forth effort into learning. So as I'm learning and I'm progressing in something, I find a joy and a peace and understanding in it and it brings me happiness. You're absolutely right because that is the journey. It's the pursuit of happiness and that happiness is the end goal as it should be because happiness has to be the ambition. It just does. I've said that before. I'll say it a thousand times because at the end of the day, if you're not happy, you're not winning at life. If you're not happy, you're not succeeding. And I tell you what, since I started the Mindset Series last year, my life has went from having nothing with no one by myself and broke to having my own business full time, realizing who my real friends are, and doing what I love every single day and spending time with the people that I love every single day. So with that being said, the pursuit of happiness isn't just about the happiness at the end. That's your end goal. It has to be your end goal. That, that is what you have to strive for in life. That's what your goals and dreams have to gear towards. But the pursuit of happiness is the key word in that, is the pursuit is always chasing happiness, always chasing more because there's always something better. There's always something more you can do, something more you can learn, something else you can do with your passion and with that happiness so once you reach it there's still a pursuit you still have to chase that every day because if you get to your point where you are nothing but happy with your life you have you have nothing else left to look for or nothing left to do or learn then what are you going to do you just, you're just going to lose the happiness so you have to constantly pursue what you love and what you want in life and two aspects of that number one pursuit is often actually kind of entwined with the word work like you have to work for that happiness. It's a pursuit, so it is a chase. It's a going after it. It's a nonstop race to get there. It is not a standstill. It is not a wait for it. It's a go for it. Nice, nicely put, man. And here's the thing, with the idea of happiness, to really understand what happiness is, we have to have one, kind of a subjective view of it because you have to go through a sense of pain, of suffering, of sadness to understand what happiness really means to you. And with all that pain and suffering, if you, so I would be happy if someone handed me a million dollars today, right? But that's gonna be gone. There's gonna be no gratitude and sense of earning it. It's just gonna be, I spend it all, it's gone. But when you work for it and you take years and time and blood, sweat and tears to get to that point, if that's your happiness and that's your end goal, is to have a million dollars, you're gonna have a lot more sense of, I worked for this, I'm gonna hold on to it, I'm gonna spend it wisely. When you deal with your depression, you overcome your anxiety and you conquer your fears, and you use those things as tools to move yourself forward in your pursuit of happiness, at the end of the day, you're gonna feel like you're a lot more responsible for your happiness and holding on to it and continuing to chase it rather than it being handed to you and well, it's gone, it'll be handed to me again. If you don't work for it, you don't have a sense of worth for that happiness, it doesn't have meaning to you. So that being said, guys, just continue to chase and pursue your happiness. Even if you thought you've reached it, just like there's always something positive in your life, there's always something negative. You need to pursue to cut the negativity out, pursue to learn more, to grow and be more. Well, there's a purpose to negativity. And what you do with your content and in instilling positivity is that if you were to take the negativity that's happening in your life, and you take that positivity that you're coming in, and you cultivate that together, treat it like a battery and let it give you power because that's ultimately what it needs to be, is that you're gonna have the positives and you're gonna have the negatives. But if you instill those properties properly, it's going to give you power. And give you the real charge of life. So you're right, like a battery, you have a positive end, you have a negative end. If you had two positives, it's not gonna do anything for you. If you have two negatives, it's not gonna do anything for you. But when you have a positive and a negative and you put them in the right place at the right time and you fuel it with your drive and your passion, it's gonna give you a charge that gives you the power to life. It's going to be your battery it's going to be your recharge so continue to chase your happiness the pursuit of happiness is your charge it should be if you're just pursuing what makes you happy 
and the positivity and pursuing all of that for your life and pursuing that positive mindset, it's going to give you that charge that you need to keep going, keep moving forward and overcome those obstacles and just to get through it and get to the next thing, next stage in your life, the next step and keep moving forward. It, it should be the fuel in your car. It should be the idea that to get from point A to point B is not necessarily going to always be a straight line. You're going to have stoplights. You're going to have detours. You're going to have to make stops along the way to refuel. Hey, we're in Michigan. We're going to have construction. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yes. But as long as you keep refueling yourself, you're going to get to where you need to be. So guys, this week, sit down, write out on a piece of paper everything you're passionate about. If you feel like dropping it down below in the comments, please do so. I read them. I know he goes through my comments and reads them as well. <laughs> we would love to see what you have to say. We would love to know what your passions are. And if there's anything we can do to help you pursue your happiness and pursue your passions, please send us a DM. As always, my links are down below in the description box. I'm going to be putting his YouTube and his Instagram down there. Please go check out his channel on YouTube. He does a segment called 2020 Vision, and he gives you proper steps, detailed steps on how to accomplish something, get over a certain obstacle, deal with certain fears, and just really giving you detailed steps to the pursuit of happiness and really helping you try to achieve your goals in life. So guys, as always, just remember, no matter what the world has to say, tomorrow's a brand new day. The choice is yours. So go out and be more.